Well, yeah, I just wanted to have a little glow up for myself, and so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm actually, let me get all my makeup out. I'm actually a qualified makeup artist, would you believe it? Um, but I basically. Just, that's broken. <laughs> I basically just don't wear makeup, mainly because I just can't be asked. Um, but I also like the effect when I do wear makeup, everyone's like, oh my gosh, Jasmine. Um, and I just get completely different reactions from people when I'm wearing makeup and when I'm not. Like, people just treat me like drastically differently. Like, obviously, they don't notice it, but like, I do. Oh my gosh, right. So I have two videos left over from Halloween that I still haven't edited. Um, just because, you know, life happens. And I need to film like an intro, outro, explanation y bit for those, the, yeah, those videos. Um, so I just wanted to feel a bit. Well, even like with YouTube, like people will take you more seriously if you look better. You know what I mean? Like this ain't cutting it. This year is just what on earth? Like for everyone. I feel like even like regardless of COVID, I feel like everyone's had like weird years where like the weird things that have never happened have happened. Like for me in February, I suffered my first loss in my whole life. And I was kind of like, like, okay, we'll talk. Like I, I was talking to my friend the night she died, you know, and that's just like, I was going to say, like, I know I'm not to blame, but, like, do you know what I mean? It's just, like, a lot to take in. Um, and then, obviously, COVID happened, like, everything completely changed. My grandparents suddenly got really ill. And let me stop putting makeup on. What am I going to put on first? Okay, so I've literally just, like, moisturised and stuff, so I'm not... Should I put a primer on? Yeah. So my grandparents suddenly got really ill, and oh, it's just a whole big thing, you know? Like, I have no tan on right now, so I'm going to use this Fenty, um... Because Fenty is the only thing that goes as light as I need it to. Um, I'm just going to cake this stuff on. Like, I'm going to proper hot girl shit this out, you know? Like, proper, who is this? I'm recognisable. But I'm going to try. I mean, like I said, I'm going to try makeup artist, but I haven't done makeup in years, so. I don't I don't even know. Like, I'm, I'm having, like, a midlife crisis, and I just want to talk. Like, I, I've been waiting for years, like, really, like, trying to have experiences in my life where I kind of have to rethink my morals and stuff like I haven't had a proper like sat down about my ideologies and my morals and stuff since I was at school um and I've left school for about four years now um and I'm the kind of person who wants to constantly learn and grow and I just haven't grown or learned anything new really for four years so obviously my friend dying really changed my outlook on a lot um and I thought like because I was kind of I was talking to her that night like I thought I would carry a lot of like a lot more guilt than I than I did, um, and that I'd be able to. I mean, at first I like, just completely shut down. Like I was scared that everyone around me was gonna die. Like I just, it was just a scary feeling. Um, but then I, I kind of became just a better person for it. Like I started being there for anyone and everyone that needed it. And then like the recent month or so, I've just like completely changed. Like. I've always been the type of kid, like, I loved romance films, like, I would cry at everything, like, I still cry at everything, but, like, I, I was very much, like, I want to settle down, like, I want to, like, like, even, like, losing my virginity, like, I didn't want to just throw it away, I wanted to give my virginity to someone that, like, I knew really valued me and whatnot, and, um, yeah, so I was, I was very just, like, romantic, want to commit, want to have a family really early, and now I'm just, like, hold the horses like i am gonna contour now i'll try and see contour was like my thing when i was at school like i was known for like my contour so let's see and obviously my face has changed since then like i've lost a lot of baby fat so like i don't even know how to contour this new face um oh yeah and now i'm just like hold your horses i do not want to commit i don't want like i don't think i want kids anymore i'm not sure if i want to get married if you know me like you know me know me you're gonna be like jazz what's going on and like for me my cat just got scared about that. Um, so I'm just very, very scared about everything at the minute. Um, I guess in my family, I've had to like, just do things that I never expected I would have to do, like grow up and just take care of people in a way that like, I was never ready to do. Um, yeah, and it's, I'm just 
freaked out by it. Like, I just, like, it's just, I mean, like, you see people in films where, like, something bad happens to them and they completely just close off. And I'm like, I'm over emotional. Like, I live my whole life guided by my emotion and now I suddenly just don't have any. Like, I don't, I don't feel as deeply as I used to. I don't, I'm just, everything's just kind of like, bleh. I look at myself and I don't recognise myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I look at me and I'm like, that's, that's not me though. Um, and I haven't really felt this way since I was like at school, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, obviously COVID has massive effect on everyone. But yeah, so I feel like, like with Shabab, like I've had emotional support every single day for like five years. And I guess I kind of feel like I need to just, you know, what what's going to happen when he's not there one day. You know, because like, you literally just don't know. Um, I think that's where a lot of my like commitment fear comes in. Like, I've learned for the first time, like, what actually, like, not having... Or just scared of people just leaving, do you know what I mean? Like, how am I going to cope in the future if things like that happen? Like, I just don't even know what's going on. And, like, my sleep's been everywhere. Like, I put posts up on Instagram, and I'm having these weird, like, sleep hallucinations. But you know what I used to love doing? Like, do I still have it? This Halloween black lipstick is like quite sheer. It was from Wilkinson's, right? And where I'm so pale, like a lot of my kind of like shadows need to be quite ashy. Like when I use like this pale person sculpting kit, like it's still too warm for me because I'm so pale. So I just contour with this. And obviously because it's like cheap sheer lipstick, it just like Blends like a dream. So if you do know me, then you know why I've been so blooming freaked out. Like I literally, you know what another thing is? I get so many notifications in the day. I'm like, I don't even think I have that many friends, but I just get so many blooming notifications. Like why, why, why do I get this many notifications, you know? Um, I had seven work group chats on my personal phone. And I was like, fuck that. I'm leaving all of these. Like. I had shit going on in my family and I like was off work and I would have to scroll through all of these works people would message on these group chats and message me separately and I have to scroll through all of these work people and I'm like I just want to find out what's happening with my family member like fuck off um, and then I said obviously it's not their fault like that just is the way things have happened like yeah so I just put some massive boundaries in for work yeah it's just a bit weird at the minute and I feel kind of I feel like I have to just push everyone away at the minute and just literally go through life on my own to realise how I'm actually gonna manoeuvre the rest of my life and so I'm just taking time out from everyone and I'm like mm, how am I gonna process anything and that's my YouTube video <laughs> um <laughs> I was trying to blend out some like what I thought was like a blush mark but it, it was just a spot so now my whole nose is probably red Let's conceal. I haven't even done any concealer. Yeah, I just don't really know what's happening. It's a bit like scary where even. Like I've got like loads of cool like video things coming up, like with I've got like a cool one coming up for someone from work, so that'll be like really it's like a cool collab. I literally don't even think this is going to turn out to make me look like a hot girl. Oh well. We can try. Hmm. Like this past year I've had like little weird hunches about like the spectrum and whatnot. I know like everyone's on the spectrum, but just, I don't know. Like I've never had a formal diagnosis. I'm not going to diagnose myself, but it's just being more aware of like, the way different people communicate and like how I personally feel about forms of communication and interaction with people. Um, like does that, does it look any different from like when I started? Maybe. Also like if you see anything like pink or sparkly, that's in tribute to my friend. In case you're wondering like, Jazz, why are you suddenly gone so girly or like so... It's... To keep me feeling close to people. I'm not a pink, sparkly kind of gal. <laughs> okay, that you can definitely see, right? Okay, barely. Is it these lights? I don't know. 
Um, so I've learned a lot this year. I mean, I think you'll notice the difference in the content I've been creating. It's not as like, ooh, like why don't you pay all this money to save the environment? Because it's like unrealistic. Like I'm living at my mum's house, paying like a little bit of rent. I don't have to pay any bills or like a mortgage or like whatever. So, you know. I'm just kind of this privileged little dickhead that was creating stupid content. I think the lips will make it if I like completely overrun my lips. That will that will make me look like a hot girl. In terms of my relationship, like this year is the best my relationship has ever been. Um, and it just sucks that I think so many things have come up in my life to where I just can't be like active in the relationship at the minute. See, this was like my little contouring secret. This real technique brush. Duo fiber contour brush, right? And then this little concoction here. I guess I should just use flat out, like a matte light grey to contour as well. Um, I used to spend hours doing my makeup and I used to love it, but now I'm just kind of like, oh, this is gonna take me hours to get off at night time. <laughs> this year I made a friend that like, I've never actually made a friend before where you're not just friends because of school or work and you're actually friends because you have a shared interest and are very similar and enjoy each other's company and are good good for each other, good to have in each other's lives. You know, like I actually learned makeup, like every girl does, of YouTube. And then I did the qualification, which taught me nothing and was actually really fucking bad advice. Um, but I loved Candy Johnson because her like, when she would turn herself into different people, I would pick out all the things that I liked about that person and put it into my own routine. So like the Angelina Jolie kind of like, shh, 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 shh. like obviously I don't know like Angelina Jolie now, but like, especially when I had more baby fat, like that was like game changing. Then I got closer with my brother this year. He had a really bad dream that I died. So he's kind of showing me all the love right now, which is really unfortunate. Um, he moved out last year, so that was hard. I think when I was younger, when like my parents broke up, my brother went to uni all at the same time. And like when things were bad and my parents, when we were little, like, my brother was always like my protector. And so when I had this like counseling thing, I mean, can I just put it out there? Like when I was a teenager, I felt like no one hurt me. I was never depressed enough or sad enough to actually get any help. So I had to get, go through loads of different avenues to get, someone to talk to me basically um but yeah so when I was talking to this lady she um yeah she was saying how like my brother was someone I really depended on and when he went to uni I kind of just shut down because he was like my last like my dad went my mum was working in London like and also my brother went to uni and I was worried that like when my brother moved out I would have a similar kind of like reaction to him being or like just kind of like oh crap everyone's growing up I guess that's kind of how I'm feeling now, like, pants, I only have like a few years left before I can, oh, I don't even know. Yeah, everyone's growing up, it's, I mean, things that like I'm 22, like, I'm not old. But I guess that's like what everyone does, like, they see, especially like on this platform, I'm trying to pursue YouTube as like a job, and obviously the successful people on YouTube are in their teens, and I'm like, in my motherfucking 20s. I'm still young. Gold. I love gold, but like I say all the time, I'm pale and gold doesn't suit me. But hot girls wear gold, so we're gonna go for gold. But this whole like jasmine with no emotion thing is, is weirding me out a bit. Like I feel like I just don't care about anything. I mean like I do, like obviously I have emotional feeling reactions, but like I can't process these emotions. And I feel like I'm just scared about everything, if I'm honest. I just don't, commitment especially. Like I feel like, I feel like that's a natural reaction though from someone who's come from a broken family. And I mean like when my parents were together, they were constantly breaking up. There was constant, constant arguments and like bad behaviors going on. Um, and they're both like a lot better and happier now. But I had a great Halloween this year actually, like Halloween season, like I watched a lot of Halloween films. Okay, let's do the lips and then commence this proper hot girl shit. 
My lips are so uneven, like I never actually know how to do my lips. I feel like from far away, it will look alright. I need to bleach my moustache. Wow, she's coming in strong. I don't think it's going too bad, you know. Touch wood. Okay, so I put on some mascara and I added some red to the lip because I felt like it was just too dark. But yeah, thanks for sitting with me and talking with me. I mean, I just did all the talking. Um, 2020 update. But yeah, obviously, if you watch this far, like, you are a proper real one. Like, I wouldn't even sit through this. Maybe I, I would for, like, my favourite YouTubers, but, like, you're a real one. I'm cold. <laughs> um, you're, you are a real one. And thank you, um, because it's people like you that makes the world a difference for, like, my channel and in my life. I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna stop talking because I've spoken so much. Oh, let's add some gloss. It's gonna make or break it. I feel like I don't know how to do makeup to like my adult face. I feel like I still do makeup according to like my like teenage face. I don't have a teenage face. Okay, my camera's literally about to die. But thank you so, so, so much for watching um, and listening to me talk. My lips are better now with the gloss. I'm happy with that. Yeah, thanks for listening to me talk. Um, look out for my Halloween videos, which are going to be posted around Christmas or New Year's. Um, 2021. We're here for it. Okay. I love you. Thank you so much. See you later.